What's up guys, Douglas from Dougsterbob.com here and today we're going to be doing a review on the 2022 Kink Gap. This bike is really exciting to me because it is one of the cheapest options with a free coaster option. It's one of the cheapest kink bikes. It's one of the cheapest bikes in general with a free coaster option. Now, this review is just on the Kink Gap and the Gap XL. The Gap Free Coaster will be in a different video just because it scored a little bit differently on the Dungster Bob scoring system. And uh, so yeah, if you're looking for that video, this is not it. This is just the Gap and the Gap XL. I really like this bike, even though it's not full Kermali. So let's get right into it. Let's figure out if it's good for you, what's good about it, what's bad about it, and how much it costs, da 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 da. We're gonna get right into the video. So the Kink Gap is a mid, almost a mid-level bike. It's gonna come in four different colors. So two of these colors are for the normal version. Two of the colors are for the XL version. In the normal version, it comes in a matte black patina and a hazy orange. In the XL version, it comes in a woodsman green and a matte spotlight purple. The Kink Gap's gonna cost you $449, which is right under the kink whip price and you know we'll talk about it later but for the extra money it's really just better to go with the kink whip unless you're looking for a free coaster option again we'll talk about that later i spilled the beans too early but let's dive into the quality of this bike so the frame is not full chromoly but it's not full high tensile steel it's called trimoly and trimoly is essentially a mix of high tensile steel and chromoly the front triangle, that's where trimoly comes from, the top tube, the head tube, and the down tube are going to be full chromoly, while the back end, the chain stays, and you know, the back tube, whatever, is, uh, is high tensile steel. So this is a problem for a number of reasons. Now, I do appreciate the effort in making a higher quality frame for lower money, but one, when you weld two metals that aren't the same, you get a not a very good weld. So generally where the high tensile steel meets up um, with the top tube and the down tube, it's not usually the best welds. Now these points don't take a lot of pressure, so it's not the end of the world. But one thing that is the end of the world, I can speak from experience, is when you're doing spins on a high tensile steel back end, the constant pressure from the ground um, and that tire meeting on the spin, it shifts the back wheel and it, it just bends the frame, that's just something that happens. So most people who end up with a frame like this or a high tensile steel bike are not riding at the level where they're doing spins like that. If you are, really try and just get a step up, get full chromoly, avoid this bike if you're already doing 360s and 540s. So that's what trimoly is. Now the forks are not full chromoly either, but the bars are full chromoly. The forks have a chromoly steer tube. This is that tube that goes through the, through the frame, and that's cool to have that full chromoly, but that means the legs are still high tensile steel. Generally, when you nose case a jump, when you do a disaster on a quarter, the legs are gonna bend anyway, so this isn't very impressive to me. Like, I'll say that about any bike that doesn't have high or chromoly forks. Um, the chromoly steer tube doesn't really do that much, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, the bars are full chromoly. The rims are only single wall, and it does not come with any pegs. So if you were looking to get a bike with pegs, you're going to have to spend a little extra money, get the Colt Devotion or the Kink Switch, but both of these are significantly more expensive than the Gap. The Gap weighs 26 pounds and 13 ounces. This is a pretty heavy bike. Um, the Kink Williams weighed close to this, but the Kink Williams had four pegs and four hub guards. So the Gap weighing this much with not no pegs, no hub guards, this is a lot for this beginner level bike. Now let's talk about the geometry. The Kink Gap comes in a 20.5 inch top tube and the Kink Gap XL is a 21 inch top tube. Google the Dougster Bob size guide to see which size is right for you because 20.5 is a really good size for a lot of people, but a lot of people end up getting a 21 just because that's what's available. And when you get a size, a top tube size that's not actually perfect for you, you're setting yourself up for failure because it's gonna be a lot harder to control and to maneuver the bike if it's not the right size. Like if I get a size that's too small for me, I'm gonna have a really hard time doing tricks on it. 
just like if I get a size that's too big for me, okay? So make sure you double check that size guide. The head tube angle is 75 degrees. This is an average head tube angle. This is what most head tube angles are. The standover height is gonna be nine inches and the chain stay is gonna be 13.25. Uh, this is a this is an okay chain stay. Most chain stays are right around here, and having this size of chain stay is going to balance responsiveness with control over the bike. So this is a really good geometry on the frame for beginner level riders because it does resemble what pros are going to be riding. Um, you know, if you look at geometry of like a department store bike, like a Walmart bike, that geometry is nothing like the the geometry that pros are riding. And so getting on that, it's not even gonna feel similar and it's gonna be really hard to progress. But something like the kink gap offers that pro geometry and it's it's gonna be nice, especially for your first bike. All right, so let's talk about the Dugster Bob scores. This is a scoring system that I created to rank each bike based on how good they are for street, park, dirt, how good their quality is and things like that. If you want this score sheet so that you can look and compare really any bike you want, there's 80 different bikes on there, um, just hit the link in the description and put in your email address. I'll send you the link to the score sheet and then you can look at it. I just got done updating the 2022 Colt bikes and putting them on there. So it's really exciting to see this list grow. If you want the score sheet, do that. Otherwise, let's talk about how good the Kink Gap did in the Dugster Bob scoring. In street, the kink gap scored a 2.67. We're gonna round this up to a three. Um, it's not really street specific. Overall, this is a well-rounded bike. It scored very similar in street, in park, and in dirt. It didn't excel in one section. So what that means is that this is a good bike for someone who hasn't decided what discipline they wanna ride. You haven't fallen in love with street, you haven't fallen in love with park, you haven't fallen in love with dirt. So getting something like the Gap allows you to ride everything, test it out, and then see which direction you wanna go. So anyway, it scored a three in street, no pegs, no hub guards, no free coaster on this version. In park, it scored a 2.67. Again, this is not very park specific. You can put a gyro on it if you want. The geometry's average, so it's not really park specific for geometry. Um, it, it's, again, scored a three, average bike for park. In dirt, it scored a 3.33. Again, three, look, three in everything. Okay, it's not dirt specific. It's not park specific. It's not street specific. But one thing that's really cool is that when you figure out what you like to ride, you can add upgrades that make it better for that discipline. Let's say you fall in love with dirt, then you can upgrade your gearing to be a 30-10 or a 28-9, and that's gonna change your top speed, that's gonna make it a little more park or dirt specific. You can get taller handlebars, you can do a handful of things, you can get dirt specific tires. You can do a lot to upgrade your bike to be specific in whichever direction you want. The kink gap just is not specific for anything right out of the box. Now, one thing that is a little disappointing is the 2.75 quality score. We're gonna round this up to a three. This is not a very high quality bike. If you look at the gap versus the whip quality, you'll have to watch that whip video to see what it scored in quality, but I'll give you a secret. It's a lot higher than the gap and um, for not very much more money. So make sure you check that out and see if the whip is gonna be something that's worth it to you. This is not a very high quality score. It's not full chromoly frame forks and bars. It's not double wall rims. It's just, it's not the highest quality. Some similar priced options would be the Sunday Primer, which comes in a handful of different top tube sizes. I do like the Primer if you're looking for a 20.00 or 20.1 in any of these like, I don't know, any of these beginner level bikes. The Primer is an interesting choice but the quality is not the best. I did a review about it, so go check out the primer. Maybe the primer is gonna be right for you. Um, you could also look at the We The People Nova. It's, just have to check out the review and see if that's right for you. I Just check out these other bikes before you make your decision because you might love one of them over the gap. And uh, if that's the case, I'd rather you get the one that you love, obviously. But I am gonna say quality, to price ratio, the gap is gonna be the better option um, because Kink is able to put their bikes out there for a lot cheaper than competitors and so therefore you get better bang for your buck when you're buying Kink bikes. Some of the potential issues that I see when you get the gap is 
that it doesn't last. I think a lot of people might end up with the gap even though they're already riding at a mid-level and getting gap quality riding at a mid-level is a, not a good combination because the quality on the gap is not going to last you as you keep progressing. We talked about that high tensile steel back end bending as you do spins and big drops down things and if you're already doing those tricks you're going to thrash this bike very quickly. So make sure that if you are getting this bike you're pretty new to BMX so you don't put a lot of pressure on the low quality material. So who is the kink gap for? Well, like I said, the kink gap is going to be for a beginner level rider who may be riding for a little bit and has a really small bag of tricks. You're looking for a bike to upgrade to. The kink gap looks pretty solid and you have a budget under $500. Is this the best bike for you? You're going to have to do a little more research to figure that out. It's a solid bike, but I'm going to stress it again. Check out the kink whip. For just a little bit more money you're getting a much better quality bike and the whip does come in the XL version and the 20.5 inch option so it's very similar to the gap just better quality. Now the most important question would I recommend the kink gap and the answer is no. Um, I'll, I will recommend the kink gap X or the, whoa, 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 the kink gap free coaster but that's again that's a different video. This one I really, really stress guys, just get the kink whip, spend that extra money. It's going to be much better quality and you're going to be glad that you did it. Now, if you've decided, okay, I'm still going to buy the gap because I don't care what you think. I'm going to put a link in the description. You can buy it from wherever that link takes you. It's probably going to take you to Dan's comp. I have a great relationship with them and they're always the cheapest place for BMX bikes. If you find it anywhere cheaper, let me know and I can update that link to help our fellow BMX riders out, but it's probably gonna be Dan's comp. Now, if you're still confused and you want my help finding the perfect BMX bike, I have a free BMX bike recommendation. All you need to do, click the link in the description, put in your height, your budget, your skill level, and I'll look at that information. I'll send you a recommendation back with three bikes that I think are perfect for you. Will the kink gap be on there? Probably not. Maybe it will, I don't know, maybe it will. Your circumstances might be a little bit differently, but you'll never know unless you try. So make sure you do that. And let me know in the comments what you thought about this bike. Which bike should I review next? Have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of the Dugster Bob community. Peace. Yo, so you're still watching the video. I wanted to ask you a question. Has this channel helped you out? Have you gotten any value from me? If the answer is yes, I want you to consider taking your support to the next level. You can get a Dugster Bob hat, a Dugster Bob shirt, or even hit that donation link in the description. You have no idea how much it helps me. With those donations and that support, I'm able to create higher quality content that helps grow the sport of BMX. We all love BMX, we know why that's important. Thank you so much for being an awesome subscriber and a part of the Dugster Bob community.